did it. Thank you, thank you. What did I do? Well, I finished writing all this entire fucking list of um, the qualities of a stoic person. And I wrote sort of like a introduction, I guess you could say, plus some stuff that you can do to implement all of these qualities so that you too can be a stoic. Um, I basically wrote it in copy form. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of adding like two or three pages for each of the 52 qualities. Um, that's just um, full of examples of um, what that would look like. So, uh, like the idea of uh, you judge things to be fortunate. Um, you know, I had the little explanation of what it means, but then to have uh, examples um, and, and stories to go into that idea in more detail so you can understand it better. Um, so yeah, I want to add like two or three pages for each of these 52 qualities. And then I would pretty much have like a short book written. Um, so like for the introduction, I um, or maybe I should just start with the title because I'm thinking a, a title is supposed to uh, catch your attention and sort of inform what the basic uh, idea, what the book is about. So I'm thinking from a copywriting perspective that what if I can accomplish those two objectives by um, catching someone's attention with a question. So pretend that the title here on the cover of the book would say, uh, do you actually know what a pragmatic person is? The idea of this is to um, sort of eliminate the people who, who say, yeah, I definitely know what that is, and only bring in the people who um, are either curious uh, and who don't know what a pragmatic person is and and also the people who are unsure of of what a pragmatic person is so that brings in that kind of people which are people who are um in my opinion more likely to be able to learn from all this book so i made it into the title into a question do you actually know what a pragmatic person is so when you open the first page you would see the question what is a pragmatic person and i define it uh, as a pragmatic person is someone who deals with things sensibly and realistically in a way that is based on practical rather than theoretical considerations dot 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 but what does that actually mean and that's pretty much where I take them through the process of uh, like saying okay well to understand it better here's like a list of all the qualities that uh, describe the ways of thinking and behavior pragmatic person so that's how you could understand it better but then another qualifying question and it's like why should I bother reading this list so then that's when I really start selling the idea of reading this book. <clears throat> so again, it's another 
qualif qualifier. Um, well, if you are someone who wants to achieve mental freedom and happiness in all circumstances of life, then you can definitely benefit from reading this list and try to embody these qualities. However, the only way to have these qualities is if you are completely serious about improving your own life. If you are not serious about improving your life, then don't bother reading more. Right there, I eliminated all the people who uh, wouldn't really benefit from reading this book and instead criticize it if they don't fully understand it. So that takes all of those people away. But if you want to truly improve your life, then I suggest you read and understand this list using emojis. Exactly. So blah, 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 blah. After they read that list, I take them through like, like the sort of questions that they would ask. It's like, okay, but how could I have these qualities? Blah, 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 blah. Um, how can I know if I am acting pragmatically? Blah, blah, blah. Then I give them the journaling method common in his stoic practice. And I did not mention once that this thing is a philosophy or the fact that this is actually stoicism. So at the very end, on the last page, after the exercise, I say, oh, and by the way, if you have all these qualities, then you would also be a stoic. A stoic is someone who re recognizes reality and behaves in a manner of their own choosing. A stoic person is a realistic and sensible person. If they were not realistic and sensible, then they wouldn't be a true stoic. In other words, a stoic person equals a pragmatic person. So forget any previous impressions about stoic or stoicism. This whole thing is what stoicism is actually about. So spread the word. So that's kind of like um, re-educating people what stoicism is all about. So all of you stoic fans there, you should thank me. <laughs> I'm educating the ignorant for you so that you don't have to defend yourself as much because I know that stoicism has the fame of just being uh, like unreactive and cold which is like it can be a byproduct of stoicism but that's not what stoicism is about so yeah I'm doing you a favor by structuring this whole thing this way convince people first of something that they will agree with and then tell them what they just agreed to <laughs> it's a little bit sneaky but it works or at least it should gotta try it out um let's see what i'm thinking from a marketing perspective, if you have a book on a shelf, first thing is uh, the title catches your attention. That's the only thing you have to catch your attention. You know, you have the, the rim of the book on the side, it's like a small space. So that's the question. Do you actually know what a pragmatic person is? Get the dialogue started, get the conversation going. So just by the sheer power of curiosity, uh, People would grab it and if they have the patience to actually read it a little bit, they would actually open the first page and read through that first copy. Um, but if they don't, they want to see what the book is about, they flip it. The backside, you usually have um, the description of the book or at least mm, testimonials or reviews about the book. Um, what I'm thinking here is that the purpose of backside of a book is to uh, sell the idea that people should read this book. But I'm thinking uh, of having the backside be another qualifier. So people who, who are impatient are people who don't really care all that much to 
um, understand something deeply. They just want um, something uh, immediate. Uh, they just want something that they can use or capitalize on just by looking at it. Um, so I, I kind of want to uh, eliminate those people and only bring in the people who are actually willing to take the time to understand. So for the back of the book, I'm thinking of uh, saying something like, uh, it's like, oh, come on, this is a really short, uh, short book. Just read the first part and you'll get an idea of what it's all about. Yeah, or just read the first page and you'll get an idea of what it's all about. So that would redirect their attention. Uh, that would redirect them uh, to the first page. That's the call to action. So the cover of the book um, sells you the idea, or, or I said the back side of the book sells you the idea of reading the first page. I think that's pretty good. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But uh, now I am, I actually wrote this as, uh, as a gift. Well, okay, I was starting to write this whole thing as a um, way for me to uh, start practicing Stoicism. Because like there's a lot of concepts around and even like the if you read the Enchiridion, it's kind of a complicated language, so you have to take a lot of time to be able to understand uh, what all the sections mean, and then you have to understand what you have to do with it. So yeah, I'm just simplifying it as much possible, so it can be more like a, a easy to follow manual. So. Um, I told my friend about this and she she really likes Stoicism and um, loved the idea that I was uh, simplifying all the terms so she wanted to uh, see a copy after I finished so uh, tomorrow we are all celebrating our birthday and I am thinking of just printing this out and giving it to her so that's my way of testing if this thing would actually work. And yeah, I mean, for adding two or three pages for of explanation for each of the qualities, um, I can just ask her to um, to kind of read through, um, understand. As much as she can and then ask questions about uh, what she's not clear about or what she doesn't understand so that sort of gives me a guideline on what sort of examples to provide to help her understand that and help people like her understand it in the same way people who are like you understand things in the same way so that's my writing strategy. I hope it works. But uh, I'll let you know the results when I get them. So for now, toodaloo. And look forward to reading this in the future.